A veneer is a wafer-thin, translucent ceramic shell that is placed over the tooth and applied with a special glue. Veneers are predominantly used on the frontal teeth. You see two veneers on the plaster model. The veneer is held and turned with a special stick, orange. The wafer-thin contact lens is made from ceramic. You can clearly see the stick shimmer through the thin shell when the veneer is turned. The female patient has chipped half her teeth in an accident, which is why she needs veneers. With the help of veneers, simple tooth misalignments, tooth gaps, unsatisfactory tooth coloration, and local discolorations can all be corrected. With veneers, visible tooth surfaces receive an optimized look, and even the tooth color is individually corrected through this method. This patient had a myriad of plastic fillings that kept discoloring due to her tobacco and coffee consumption. Veneers solved the unsatisfactory situation in her upper and lower jaw. You now see the veneers on the patient who suffered an accident. The lower incisors have been chipped away. The first stage in the veneer application process is the planning phase, often called a wax-up. During the actual preparation, a thread is laid first so that the gums do not get hurt during the diamond grinder sanding process. Receding gums would be the consequence. Furthermore, it is the only way to obtain attractive preparation borders during the tooth impression. There will be more about that in the video entitled Impression. A thin layer, 0.3 to 1 millimeter, is removed from the enamel as needed. This preparation is done according to anatomical conditions, and the goal is to achieve a cosmetically attractive, long-lasting result. Special depth marks, the dark lines, show the dentist how much enamel he needs to remove. At the end of the tooth impression preparation, a bite registration is made. The provisional solution uses plastic veneers that are made immediately after the impression is taken. A pre-impression, which was made prior to sanding, is filled with plastic and placed over the sanded teeth. The provisional solution is tried on after it is hardened, is carefully refined, and finally attached to the patient's mouth. Now, you only need to choose the color before the order is sent to the technician, who needs approximately one week to manufacture the actual veneers. After a week has passed, the plastic provisional solution is removed and the teeth are cleaned with a brush. Veneer fitting is followed by the gluing procedure. Here, you find the biggest differences in quality. Not all glues available on the market are suitable for veneer attachment. First, any existing bleeding is carefully stopped with the cauter. Clean work is extremely important during the gluing process, and there can be no saliva or blood present. The enamel is etched, the green paste, and the surface is treated with various glue products. Finally, the veneers are inserted. Surplus material has to be carefully removed, otherwise it will cause gum inflammation. Furthermore, thorough polishing is necessary because rough surfaces enable fast plaque settlement that may result in cavities. The gums become irritated for a short time, but they heal quickly. How much, if any, of your tooth substance has to be removed depends on your tooth alignment, your existing fillings, and your tooth color. In modern dentistry, teeth can be corrected through such minimally invasive procedures that crown sanding is usually not necessary. However, such high-quality aesthetic work requires a well-established team, dentist, technician, and assistants. An alternative for ceramic veneers would be plastic constructions, which are cheaper but discolor quickly and have to be changed every few years. If you only want to correct the tooth position, braces would be an alternative. If it is tooth coloration that bothers you, bleaching should be considered. The specific risks of veneer sanding are similar to general tooth sanding. These can include acute tooth nerve inflammation caused by too much heat, which can necessitate root treatment, damage to neighboring teeth, gums, cheeks, and lips, and other related consequences.